I made a decision to create a new segment of my YouTube channel, considering that we have a lot of idiots out there who actually believe the crap that's being put out there by any by anyone, politician, political wise, life wise, whatever. So I decided to create a new segment called A Rudy Poo Candy Ass. When I think of this person I'm about to talk about, the Bible verse from Matthew 24:11 comes to mind. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. I can't think of that very definition than so many others out there than Greg Locke, a pastor from Nashville, Tennessee. This guy is beyond just straight up destructive. But when he decides to talk about things that really don't matter, shouldn't have any, that he doesn't have a stake in, he just goes all out. But the real evil about this guy is that he has an extreme hatred, an extreme hatred for everything or anyone that does not follow his, his way of thinking. From COVID to voting Republican to whatever it is, this guy is just strongly, just brings a bile and people actually believe it. Now recently, this guy actually decided to put out a video on his Twitter page. And of course, it's in, um, it's in retaliation and reaction to the warrant that the FBI and the just, I'm sorry, the Department of Justice served as a search warrant for Donald Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago. Take a listen to this, if you can. For a moment, what we saw in Mar-a-Lago yesterday I'm here to tell you, was an absolute criminal act. The government of the United States has been given the authority to come after us in ways that we could have never imagined. I'm telling you, what they did was not only an injustice, not only was it, was it a criminal act, I'm here to tell you the FBI has now been weaponized, weaponized against the American people. And what happened yesterday to President Trump is unthinkable. You hear me? This was indicative of a prophetic warning. Not because it's in the Bible, but because it's in our very face. The word of God is being fulfilled. I'm telling you, they are coming against anyone that goes against the narrative. They're coming against anyone that is conservative. They're coming against anyone that supports or supported President Donald Trump. I'm telling you, they are coming against us. They've weaponized the FBI, the CIA. Now they've hired 87,000 more I. They've armed them. I'm telling you, they're coming for audits at an all-time high. They're coming for raids and arrests at an all-time high. They're pushing this insurrection garbage, this literal bull crap, continually, all the time. And I'm telling you, this is a prophetic warning of what is to come. Get your house in order. They are coming for the churches. They are coming for those of us that are standing up and speaking out. They are coming for conservatives. They're coming. They're trying to stop the midterms. They want to stop the election. They've stole it once. They're going to try to steal it again. I'm telling you, Nancy Pelosi has lost her ever-loving mind. The Democrats will burn America slap to the ground so that they will not be caught red-handed with all their evil, nefarious nonsense. I don't care if you like that or not. I don't care if you follow me or not. I'm here to tell you something. The FBI is going to go to Mar-a-Lago, going to take siege to President Donald Trump's personal home, which I've been there. It's a beautiful place. But they won't even investigate Hunter Biden's laptop. I've seen what's on that laptop. It is nightmarish. It is evil, wicked pedophilia, godless, I mean things that will, will absolutely keep you up at night. And you're going to tell me that they won't investigate that, but they're going to investigate Donald Trump? This is ridiculous. Every preacher in America should be angry. Every conservative in America should be angry. Every true, every true Republican, okay, non-Democrat and non-Rhino, every true Republican should be upset. Every conservative, every Christian should be bothered by what is about to transpire. This is a prophetic warning. They are coming for our churches. They are coming for our businesses. They are coming for our children already in the public school. They're coming for us. They're going to arrest people at an alarming rate. The IRS is going to audit people at an alarming rate. They're looking for anything they possibly can. They're not looking in the right direction because it's right there in their own backyard. They're not going to investigate the Democrats. 
They're not going to investigate the leftist elites, the globalists, the, the godless America haters. They're not going to investigate them. They're going to investigate us. And I say bring it on. Bring it on, Scooby-Doo. Bring it on, Big Shot, because I have nothing to hide, and I'm not going to stop. You'll chop my head off before I quit talking about this stuff, and my lips are going to move for 35 minutes after you do that. I'm telling you, to God be the glory. I'm not giving in. I'm not giving in to the narrative. I'm going against it. What was done to President Donald Trump was an atrocity, and people ought to be upset. You know what we need in this nation? That right there. We need some lions. We need some people that are roar. We need some real patriots. We need some real Christians, some real pastors, some real people, some real Americans. I don't care. Call me a Christian nationalist all you want. I'm so sick of hearing that, CNN and the rest of that crowd. They are liars. They are hands-down liars, ladies and gentlemen. They have a globalist, elitist, pedophilia, Marxist, anti-God agenda that they want to shove down the throats of Americans. They hate America. They are communists. They will sell us to the Chinese overnight if we allow it. We've got to stand up. We've got to push back. This is evil, nefarious, wicked nonsense. There, I said it. I'm going to have an entire show on it tomorrow, but I'm telling you, this is a warning from God. Ding, 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 ding. Wake up. This is a warning from the Lord. They are coming against us at an alarming rate. They're trying to disarm us. They're trying to cause disunity amongst us. They're trying to threaten us, to bully us in the corner. The left's always talking about, oh, we hate bullies. And they're the biggest bullies on the planet. Democrats are the biggest bullies on the planet. Enough with this insurrection, January 6th nonsense. I was there, it wasn't an insurrection. And so at the end of the day, I'm going to keep speaking, I'm going to keep doing live videos until they completely shut me down or kill me. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm not going to go silent. We should be angry about this. The FBI has been weaponized against the American people. The government has been weaponized against the American people. They are not for us. They are against us. Okay, It is a treasonous act. They do not care about the Constitution. They would burn the Constitution and the Bible slap to the ground tonight while you're sleeping if they thought they could get away with it. And they're doing a good job getting away with it because enough patriots and pastors aren't standing up having a gut full and saying enough is enough. Enough of your tyranny. Okay, Put Hunter Biden and the fake Biden administration behind bars for the treasonous atrocities that they're pulling on this nation. Nancy Pelosi needs to be in prison tonight before this live feed video ends. I'm telling you, it's the facts, ladies and gentlemen. It's the facts. And nobody wants to deal with the facts. They raided President Trump's personal home. Personal home. To intimidate him, which all it did is rile up the fan base. He's going to get more votes now than he was ever intending to get. And they think that they're going to silence us. This is a manipulation intimidation factor. The left is full of witchcraft. That's what witchcraft does. Manipulate and intimidate so ultimately they can dominate. Well, let me tell you something. They're not going to dominate me. They're not going to dominate our church. They're not going to dominate my family. They're not going to dominate our ministry. We are going to rock on. We're going to jam for the land. They don't intimidate me. They don't scare me. Do you hear me, left? You don't scare me. You Marxist, demon-possessed mongrels. You don't scare me. It is time we must stand up. we got to be like lions. We have to roar, patriots. It's time to get angry about this nonsense. Wake up, America. This is a prophetic warning for what is to come. It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. And it's going to get much worse, much quicker, if we don't stand up and do something about it. Enough is enough. First things first, I want to give you all my sincerest apologies for putting you through that crap. I really do. I really don't know... I don't even know why I even showed this video to you. I should have showed you the Ed version of it. I, oh my God, this candy ass. Oh God. I feel like my, my brain is just, I feel like I just, my, a lot of brain cells in my brain just killed themselves right now just by listening to that crap. My God, what the hell? Oh my God. You really are that stupid, aren't you? Aren't you, Locke? I was willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. I was really willing to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. But when you start rambling off on things like that, without the slightest idea what the hell you're talking about, it makes me want, it makes me believe that you really are. That fucking stupid. You're a candy ass. 
My God, man, what the hell happened to you? Maybe being raised in the South by some, by your father who was so incredibly, oh God, I didn't even know go that far. I'm not even gonna go that way with you. But you say, but here's the thing. Let's, I'm gonna just give you a few points on this. He says that what happened at Mar-a-Lago with Donald Trump being FBI searching Donald Trump was a criminal act. No, it was not. It was a legitimate search by a search, with a search warrant signed by a federal judge backed up by the D- Department of Justice and the FBI director, the, the, the FBI director that Donald Trump appointed and the judge that Donald Trump appointed gave them the go ahead to search as Mar-a-Lago. And the reason why, in case you don't know, Locke, in case obviously your dumb ass, can, your dumb candy ass doesn't know, is because they were searching for, pa- for papers that Donald Trump took from the White House in violation of the uh, violation of several acts and the violations of the law. But seriously, that's probably only one reason. For God's sake, there's so many investigations into the son of a bitch. There could be any reason why they why they investigated them, why they went to Mar-a-Lago. And now they, he goes on this spiel about weaponizing the government. Donald Trump tried to weaponize the government, you bastard. During the 2020 riots, he told he gave direct orders for governors to activate the, their national guards in order to kill protesters, not subdue, kill. He told, he gave orders to gas peaceful protesters for his photo op holding the Bible up. God, this, this candy ass. And then, and he goes on this spiel about coming for us. They're all coming for us. Everyone is coming for them. Everyone was coming for us. They're coming for the schools. They're coming for the churches. My God, man, stop. Stop. And you call what happened at Mar-a-Lago a siege. It wasn't. It was a law enforcement move, a search with a search warrant signed by a judge, federal judge that Donald Trump or his lawyers and, and his lawyers are not giving us. Because if this were or this were a search and if this was that, that narrative that this was a thuggish search, why is every Republican lying about it? And he goes on about Hunter Biden and the laptop. How did you see his laptop? Are you getting that, that from secondhand bullshit from Donald Trump and his people from the right wing? Or did you actually see it? Did you take photos of it? Let's see it. Let's see it. And he tries to say this is a prophetic warning. You're a false prophet. The verse, the, the verse from Matthew I just read, you are the very definition of a false prophet. And he wants to be, be all tough, said, bring it on, bring it on, Scooby-Doo. What the hell? And then you say, chop off my head, I'll still talk. Son, don't, get, don't, make your, don't let your love for Donald Trump get you in, in a situation you don't want to be in. Over the last 24 hours, people have been arrested for making direct threats against the life of the President of the United States, members of Congress, members of the Senate, against Americans. Don't get yourself into a situation where you will be arrested. Being that stupid, I mean, I understand people are ignorant or anything else and not knowledgeable about things, and that can be cured by a simple Google search. Don't be that stupid or naive to think that you're not gonna that you're gonna get away with the shit you're saying, or the shit that people other people have said. And as for you being a Christian nationalist, you are. You're acting just like Adolf Hitler. You're acting just like the Nazis. And you're saying that everyone is anti-God. None of us are anti-God. We're anti-idiots. That would be you, Locke, and the rest of your followers you know i try not to get angry in videos like this i'm trying to make actually make fun of you but honestly after watching that video and i really don't know what the hell to talk about at this point i really don't know and
and frankly, I really don't think you understand the crap that you're saying, or you understand it, and you're just doing it to make money, false profits, trying to take profit, take the profit out of the pockets of people. You learned your lessons very well from Donald Trump, you son of a bitch. So you want to make threats against this country, Log? You're going to pay the price for that. But for right now, in the words of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you are a Rudy Poo candy ass. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.